What's up guys, in this video I'll be explaining the real reason why LeVar Ball pulled LiAngelo Ball from UCLA yesterday. Yesterday, LeVar Ball told ESPN that LiAngelo Ball would no longer be attending UCLA. This is crazy news because all the hype surrounding the Ball family and what's gone down with LiAngelo getting caught with stealing in China with his teammates. LeVar Ball spoke with LA Times and said that the withdrawal was one of the results of the dissatisfaction with UCLA's handling of LiAngelo's indefinite suspension for his acknowledged role in the shoplifting incident last month in China. He might as well be in jail, LeVar said in a telephone interview. I'm not going to let UCLA take the fire out of my boy by letting him play for two months. We're going to do some other options. I'm not going to let him sit back and not practice. A person with knowledge of UCLA's academic policy said LiAngelo would have to withdraw himself from school since he's no longer a minor. Well, knowing this information, guys, and knowing LeVar Ball, he's definitely going to get pulled because, you know, if he disobey LeVar Ball, <laughs> you're probably gonna get screwed. LiAngelo Ball and fellow Bruins freshmen Cody Riley and Jalen Hill were suspended after they admitted to shoplifting from three stores inside an upscale mall in Hangzhou, China during UCLA's season opening trip to play Georgia Tech in Shanghai. The trio has also been ineligible from all team activities as a part of the punishment. Head coach Steve Alford recently indicated that he expected a decision on the length of the player's suspension to come in a matter of weeks. We learned today of LiAngelo Ball's intention to withdraw from UCLA, Alford said in a statement. We respect that decision he and his family have made, and we wish him all the best in the future. LeVar said he had not spoken with anyone at UCLA about withdrawing his son. I'm taking him and I'm gone, LeVar said. When asked whether LiAngelo agreed with his father's decision, LeVar said, My boy is loyal to me. I tried to let UCLA deal with the process and he should have been playing the next week. Jello, who's 6'5 and 215, had lost 20 pounds since his senior season at Chino Hills, where he averaged 33.8 points per game and came off the bench for the Bruins this season. Well, he was expected to come off the bench because obviously that's no longer happening. His only formal appearance in a UCLA uniform came during an exhibition game against Cal State Los Angeles in which he scored 11 points in 16 minutes off the bench. LeVar said last month that LiAngelo would attend UCLA for only one season before declaring for the NBA draft following the path of his older brother Alonzo. However, an unnamed NBA scout said it was unlikely that LiAngelo would be drafted. LiAngelo Ball is a good shooter but does not bring much more to the table, the scout said. I believe it is widely accepted among NBA personnel that he is not an NBA player, even before his off-court issues. Jello's younger brother, Lamelo, also faces an uncertain basketball future even though his father insisted he will remain committed to UCLA. LeVar recently withdrew Lamelo from Chino Hills and embarked on a homeschooling program because of the disagreement with the high school's basketball coach. Lamelo, as many of you guys know, is a junior in high school. His amateur status is in doubt because of his promotional appearances on behalf of the Big Baller brand, the family's clothing and shoe label. Yahoo Sports reported that LaMelo and LiAngelo were exploring options to play internationally, which would put an end to any possibility of them playing in college. Now we get into the real question. Why LeVar would pull LiAngelo knowing that UCLA was not responsible for his suspension? It was actually the NCAA's responsibility to suspend LiAngelo indefinitely based on being arrested for stealing in China. I mean, if you ask me, a suspension for only a few games or even half the season is nothing compared to being in jail. I believe LeVar Ball is using this as a way to make headlines again. I believe LiAngelo should stand up for himself and actually not leave UCLA. I think he's getting a great education at UCLA and well, throwing that all away, that would just make things even worse and your father teaching you at home is definitely not going to compare to a great education in the UC system. As a basketball player myself, if I had the opportunity to play for UCLA, I would take it in a heartbeat and be very grateful. Especially if I got caught stealing and they let me stay on the team, I would definitely stay and I would owe that team my gratitude because, well, I should be in jail if I steal first of all, and that's disrespecting my school's program. Okay, not to hate or anything, but LiAngelo Ball was told by an NBA scout that he has basically zero chance of making it to the NBA, and one of the main reasons his father is pulling him from UCLA is because he's training him for the NBA. This makes absolutely no sense, and he's prioritizing basketball over academics and going to school, which is pretty sad in my opinion if you ask me, because UCLA is one of the top schools in the nation for learning and education, and he's basically jeopardizing that in order to play basketball or train for an unrealistic goal of going to the NBA. 
I'm not saying it's impossible for him to make it to the NBA, but I'm saying it's highly unlikely, especially if an NBA scout already said that he's a one-dimensional player. But that's just my thoughts. In my opinion, the only reason that Leangelo Ball is being pulled by LeVar is just to boost the big baller brand in his organization. It has nothing to do with his academics or basketball. He's literally just trying to make a name for himself and stay relevant in the headlines. I know that this decision has nothing to do with basketball because earlier this year, LeVar even said himself that Leangelo has zero chance of making it to the NBA out of all three of his sons. I honestly think this is a pretty ridiculous and foolish move. I mean, LeVar's already going to have to homeschool Lamelo as he pulled him from high school and now he has Leangelo to take care of as well. And he has to run his business and take care of Tina. I mean, that's a lot on his plate and quite frankly, the kids are not going to get the education they deserve. I think this is pretty foolish of him. Okay guys, so that's the real reason why I believe LeVar pulled Leandro from UCLA. I honestly think it was just a publicity stunt and he's just trying to get his name out there again like he did earlier this month with Trump. Alright guys, now that I shared the real reason why I believe LeVar pulled Leangelo, definitely let me know in the comment section below why you think LeVar pulled Leangelo from UCLA. I'd love to hear it guys, and uh, please leave a like on this video as it was pretty long to make and uh, I would appreciate it a lot actually guys. I'm struggling, I'm very poor. No, I'm just kidding. But thank you for watching this video guys, uh, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Man, f*** LeVar Ball.